Hi, I'm going to show you how to set up PPPoE. So that's just PPP encapsulated in Ethernet. So it's actually pretty easy to set up. So I've got the router, um, the ISP router set up. I'll, I can give you the config for that. But there are only really two big parts. So creating a dialer interface and then mapping that to a physical interface. So everything's done pretty much in the dialer interface. So all we got to do is create a uh, dialer interface. I just picked two. It was in the in the book, so don't really care. It could be any number. You could have different dialer interfaces. And then you need to create a dialer pool. So this is a really important layer one part here. And that needs to be mapped, that number one, to this command down here. So these numbers need to match. It's very important. Layer one to the physical interface. So this, that dialer pool one and dial pool number one, it allows it to map that dialer two interface, this whole thing, to this physical interface. So that's very important. So these numbers have to match. If this is one, this is one. Then we gotta get to the layer two part. So Capsulation is PPP, and then we have the username and password, or whatever the ISP set up. We're using CHOP, and then you'll want to use MTU of 1492 because there's an 8-byte overhead for PPPoE, so you'll want to change that, otherwise you'll have like fractured packets and I think it's fragmented and it's a big mess. Not happy. And then IP address negotiated. So it'll ask the ISP route, like, hey, give me an IP address. Yo, man, hook me up, man. Hook me up. So once you have all that set up here, the dialer interface, you just need to run this one command pretty much, PPPoE-client, dial pool number one. And make sure that's the same as this. Dial pool one. On that dialer 2 interface. Those are the only two numbers that have to match, really. And then once you enter this command in, this gets popped in. PPP OE enable. And you don't want any IP address on the physical Ethernet here. Do not. Because all that's handled, layer 2, layer 3 stuff, on the dialer interface. So let's go and jump into. A real example. So I've got a router running, two routers, and let's actually configure it. So interface dialer 2, dialer pool 1, uh, encapsulation, PPP, PPP chap hostname, muffins, ooh, delicious, PPP chap password derps and then layer 3 part MTU 1492 and then IP address negotiated and that's pretty much it for the dialer interface so let's go ahead and go to the Ethernet interface let's connect to the ISP and we're gonna do PPPoE client Dial pool number one. It should come up. We might need to do a no shutdown in the interface. Yeah, let's try that. So the physical interface is down, so no shoe. Let's see. Okay, now it's coming up. I see the lights on my router. Okay, change that up. Let's see what it does. There we go. So it creates this virtual access interface. That's what it is bound to. So you can think of the dialer interface as a configuration, and then where the stuff actually gets done is this virtual access. It's bound to virtual access when it creates. And it's up. So to verify, to see if things are up, let's do a show PPPoE session. 
So you can see it's up, up, and I manually set the remote MAC address, ISP's MAC address to C0FE, coffee, so it's easier to see. And then this is mine. So this is up and running. So let's do show IP interface brief. As you can see, the dialer interface here that's using the fast ethernet zero zero here bounded to that this is where the layer two and layer three is done learned it by IPCP and that's our IP address Woo! 10134 so if you try and set this up on your own you're probably going to run into some issues like I have that's the best way to learn so my first problem I was like, layer two is not working. Why is this not working? I'm like, ah, I needed a crossover cable because I'm connecting two routers with Ethernet. And I'm like, ah, facepalm, so stupid, for like an hour. And then after that, I was past that issue. And then I, it was still down. I, I can show you what I got. It was uh, this. So it kept on flapping so it kept creating the virtual access interface and then shutting down and then there was stuff in here I mean it said it was shut down when I did sh do show PPPoE session there's stuff junk in here which looks half good but it was still down and that was because I looked at my password here and actually it's the host name and I put muffin instead of muffins. So once I fixed that, everything was nice and happy. So that leads me into some troubleshooting. So let's go through each layer. If you don't see anything, so let's do show PPPoE session. If you don't see any junk in here, like anything, it could say it's like some weird down state or, or something. As long as there's something in here that looks like this, that means layer one is working. So what I mean by that is this dialer pool is tied to this physical interface correctly. So that part is working at least. If you see something there, if you don't see anything, if it's blank when you run that command, check the very basics, layer one, tied to that physical interface. And if you do see stuff in there, like I did here, saw some junk earlier. This is copy and paste from earlier today. Um, if you do see stuff, then check layer two. So make sure you're encapsulating with PPP. Make sure the username and password is right. Confirm that with the ISP. I'm sure um, spaces or capitalization is probably important. Just make sure you get it right, whatever the authentication is. And if that's not the problem, then check this, layer 3. So if we go back, and let's say, for example, and we don't see an IP address here, the dialer to interface then make sure you're running uh, make sure you have in that dialer interface the command IP address negotiated with the MTU and once you check all that it should be up and running which is this is just really awesome so let's for example let's say we wanted to default right now so we're connecting to the ISP we're derpy and we want all our traffic to go out there. So it's pretty basic. IP route all networks out the dialer interface too. Yay! All our traffic now goes out that dialer interface. So now we can get all the delicious, delicious IP muffin packets. So IP route. So we look at it. You can see we set this is static default gateway to dialer two. We set that, and then we can see 
our interface here, the connected route, and then that other side right here, 10, 1, 3, 1, that's the ISP. So I hope that was helpful, and thank you for watching.